Corruption is a vile disease that sucks and drains the health out of something good. Corruption in society is an evil moral infection that keeps community in the state of perpetual sickness. Corruption is a moral virus. It's so potent it leaves its host sick, lethargic, and unable to realize and accomplish all that a well person can. Where corruption thrives, poverty and not prosperity thrives. Wealth is grabbed into the greedy, grubby hands of those who get fat on the toil and labor of good people. Corruption benefits only temporarily those who participate in it. Everyone else is a victim of the theft, the deceit, the dishonesty, and the lies that corruption feeds on. You need to know that a corrupt person is stealing from you. Corruption is filthy work and despicable acts of treachery done under the table and behind closed doors. Corruption is a disgusting shame. Corruption keeps a nation back from true development and from progress. Wise investors steer clear of a corrupt environment. They would rather put their resources into a place where the playing field of opportunity is equal for all and not bent towards feeding the financial lust of corrupt, lying, cheating, thieving politicians and government officials. How many wonderful development projects have been lost because the investors didn't want to do business in a swamp of evil? When those great projects go to another nation or to some other place, we all lose. Believe me when I tell you, that corruption steals from you, it steals from all of us. Corruption plunders the nation's wealth. Corrupt people compromise on truth, equity, and fairness, choosing instead to feed off the short-term benefits of crookedness, exploitation, and financial perversion. Corruption is not just a personal matter. It's a culture. It's a way of life, not just for individual people, but for companies, communities, governments, and nations. Corrupt nations, hiding behind large companies, will seek to invest in other weak nations in order to take over the assets of the nation that they've invested into. They will provide financial loans to a nation for the much-needed infrastructure, and they will do it with assets that they provide. They will sign contracts by lining the pockets of rotten government officials who participate in this kind of corruption and are then held hostage by their own deceit and greed. Corruption is nothing less than a form of theft and national robbery. A corrupt person steals from everyone in society. Well, gone, family, let me have a little glitch somewhere here and I'll fix it. Good afternoon, everybody. For those of you who have been following me for a while, or you know me been following the Five Spin and the Ginger Hill Health Center with them clothes. Because what we start to do is pay attention. Good afternoon, everybody. Is to pay me pay attention if they are they might tell we say they must spend the most, but at the same time they are defunding health care. So, Mr. Pay attention upon the Ginger Hill and the Five Spin Health Center that they close one time. Do you understand me? And um, I want to find out, let me say, have four months. A four months. Basically, it had closed January. And um, them say, have four months with a, a thing. So, we want to know anybody will live a Five Spin. Or Ginger Hill. What is the update on the health center in a them here today? Because them send old lady and old man go yonder. After spend money for go get them local blood pressure, blood pressure check and pregnant moms after go get them prenatal far away spend money. Them never think say boy, make me put up a little container, you know, set up a little container so these people can, you know until it's finished so i and i want to really I check me i check up people may i do my own research hmm? so may i check up on a five spin anybody live a five spin what about the health center ginger hill if you live at them place i know nobody live at them place or you pass through them place eh? give us an update on this channel about them thing because i'm paying attention them say five spin and um 
uh, at Ginger Hill Health Center closed for renovation. It was um, reported in Adeglina, December 19, 2023. And the re relocation should start January 8, 2024. They reported from December 19, 2023. And relocation start January 8, 2024. So we want to know where them health center are there and how far in um, completion. Can we have pay attention now, people? We, we have to be the watchdog around here because we get to understand that the, the Cornwall, after six years with the, the Cornwall Regional Hospital, we reach $29 billion right now. We have to start paying attention to what, you know, really a few thing. You understand me? So, this is a few things where we need to start paying attention to. If I defund them, I defund with healthcare and a style. All right. The Port Morant Health Facility is closed for relocation, uh, renovation rather. Coming at the Gleaner, July 10th, 2023. Minnesota, we are wait, we reopen yet, but may I say pictures of. Where them I do some work on it and some, you know. So, but it's still behind time. Nothing them do is on time. You understand me? So, Morant B Health Facility closed um, the inner degree in July 10, 2023. They say closer renovation. I may see them do look a paint job and then look a concrete job. There's some look a you know, building block. Port Morant, tell me what I'm going over there. Them open it yet? Talk to me. We appreciate information, people, and we work together as well. And we discuss it on this channel. And the cost for the Port Morant renovation, people, is $27 million. Let me tell you something. When it comes to a certain type of spending in a Jamaica, boy, it can go up, here, man. A billion millions and billions and trillions. $27 million for the local renovation. No man can use $27 million Jamaica bill. How much of someone can build with that? The local renovation at the clinic, them extend, put on a room and sit like that, some black work and some good decking. Or go paint up and same thing. You see? $27 million taxpayers. You saw the money is at work. $27 million for Morant. Morant B. Port Morant. Port Morant, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, approve of that the health center for $27 million. But that's why I don't know what I'm going on. We have to pay attention to health facility in Jamaica since it seems as if they don't want to give a good health care. So we have to do it won't work. Right? $27 million. It's a lot of money to fenugreece. Right? We have the Craighead. Craighead. Health Center in Manchester closed for four months. This, report, this was reported in Anaglina in February 2nd, 2024, this year. Craighead, Manchester, closed for four months. And I tell people, so if you go here, there, and everywhere, again, they do not have no trailer or no, you know, to help the people them out. They send the people them all about. All man and all woman, I forgot to take taxi, pay money, go get the little blood pressure, you know, and so forth and so on. That Craig Ed, them closed that just February, yes, so, right in Manchester. So now in Manchester, the Broadleaf Health Centre reopened after two years. So at two years, them shut down the Broadleaf Health Centre for look what I say now. That's why I pay attention to the Ginger Hill and the Five Spin and all these other health centers where they said they are closed. You know me, people? August 26, 2023, coming on Nationwide News Network, that the Broadleaf Health Center reopened after two years. So now, People were inconvenient, people, inconvenience for two years. Imagine your health center locked down for two years. 
them no business where old people are going to get their little blood pressure check. Baby moms in prenatal care. Any little emergency what might happen in another community. And send a yanda. You have to pay money to go there. Shut it down, man. People them could have get a little canteen, a little trailer. Because them have trailer where them use as office, you know, in construction site, got AC in at them and everything, people. They could have get one and hook them up a temporary thing if they would have considered the people. But they are not considering you. They are not there to serve you. You are inconvenience. It's second thought for them. You know, in them brain. So many health centers. I mean, I pay attention, people. Health centers have been closed. And see, I mean, I tell you, say, the Bradley for Manchester are two years in lockdown for. So all these other health centers were locked, locked down. And I want say four months and how much months you're not going to take to reopen them. I want to do. Yeah, so I ask if I defund, I defund healthcare and a style, and I tell we say, I want spend the most. Can I pay attention? You know? Cornwall Regional Hospital has six years, $29 billion now. The little Port Marant Health Facility, them look at picture, I see, I see picture, you know? Trust me, I do my research. I see look at picture, look at blue paint, on the put on and look at part, on the put on look at black work. That now amount to $27 million, Jaja. I want to take the $27 million, I put new MRI machine and CT scan up in them, I don't know. I just ask if I put, is that just for the shell, the $27 million in a port morant? A lot of type of money I spend boy for people, you know, and we need to start checking up on these things and be the watchdog boy, you know. So that's why I start paying attention from the longest people. From here, them said Ginger Hill and Five Cent, they say, oh, what is that going on? Two of them on the lap now one time. So hold on there. A axe and hammer on come with at the health care facility. Come here, pay attention you know, like these people and make everything in Jamaica free fall. Not now fixing you know, up, but we are doing the most. Crime gone down, the lowest in 24 years, but crime is at the most in our eyes. So these people are hurt we and go like so we're not hurt. You know, lying with it. If the thing's bad, the thing bad, make we fix it together as a people. Don't lie and tell we say it's okay when it's not okay. So may I pay attention. We spend the most. LK facility are shut down. We never provide a local container for the people them. Consider the people them. No, you appoint them to other neighboring health facility. Each one of them are going to require them to take public transportation, setting up these local old people to catch all type of same thing, and EBGB to go back and forth to the hospital, to the clinic and all them things there. Now consider the people. You understand me, people? So these things may I pay attention to. You know, all these information are out there if you know what they're looking for. All of them are out there, people. So let me just show you. So these are my findings from these um, health facility. The Morant Bay health facility closed from um, July 10, 2023. Them said, um, I missed some local work. I do pan it. You know, and I mean, I seen a re me I check, check, check. So I've seen a reopening. Me can't see where it reopen. Me can't see where it reopen yet. That me say from July last year. So it that come to July again to be one year and year and a half before you open the health facility, give the people them. You yes, saw no, no hand slow. They want to close these things now. Man, Harlands and they can fix the things fast, no man. We don't have money. We're not supposed to be the financial giant in the, in the Caribbean. We don't work for poor people, boy. Yeah. We start pay attention to who now, you know. Things will work right, man. And then at $27 million, look up paint up and look up two black corner lay down a Fort Morant cars. $27 million. Why when it comes to certain things, the money have to burn so? And a poor man would have built a big building, probably build a whole goddamn clinic for $27 million. What I do, man? Brother, everything has some heavy money, boy, when Una spend it. I mean, that's what, sure. And if you probably do some audit on it, you know, you, you wonder what go on. See, see, Cornwall Regional Hospital people, it gone to $29 billion in a stock go up. And I promise you, that's not the final amount. It is like there's a black hole, a Cornwall Regional Hospital. The place they need a real audit. Where the money a Cornwall Regional Hospital ago? And people, you them go with the tricks again. Me get to understand that down by Cornwall Regional Hospital, the inside not done it is us outside them are paint up. It is alleged that Cornwall Regional Hospital. Based on info on the ground, they are telling me that 
them on go paint up outside the hospital the skin. So one would have passed the hospital and said, wow, we paint up nice. But there's an inside Cornwall Regional Hospital, a disaster. Anybody there talk to me? From Obi. Come on, I could share information. Cornwall Regional Hospital is just outside. There's a face, there's a facade, there's a PR stunt, there's a fool the crowd. Talk to me, people. 20, um, $29 billion. $29 billion and Cornwall look like one hole did the people and sinkhole did the money. $29 billion. And all these other health centers are closed down about the place. And me have pay attention to all of them. So anybody live a five spend on Ginger Hill, what is the condition at the, at the, at the uh, health center? How far are them there? You understand me? Because these people hold you up, you know, and take all two years to fix it, you know, just like Bradleaf Health Center in Manchester. It took them two years to, to finish that one day. You understand me? So me not me a check part uno. Um see Port Marantia from July 10, 2023 till now. Me not see um announced that I reopen it after 27 million dollar spin. You see that? So we have pay attention to them thing. Eh? Now, people, and to another news. Now, me get to understand. It is alleged that PPP drivers, public vehicle, bus driver who ply different routes in Jamaica, I get caught up, I drop out, and I dirt them. Do you understand what I say? And the government is trying to suppress those news because they don't want to raise panic. So I ask my bus driver, them PPP driver, comment section again. Here we go again. I ask, let us share information. I'm asking this question. Any knowledge of these things, put it in the comment section. It's a, it is alleged that in the last two years, over 200 of them drop out. They are suppressing the news, it seems. So we have bus driver because they collect money. They have money, you know. Remember, public passenger vehicle, cash them off. I'm here, some man, I dirt them. They might drop out at an alarming rate. And based on, you know, ground info. And they are trying to suppress the news. It's also alleged that it's mostly tourist bus driver them who carry tourists carry pie pie. The one never carry we is it not seem like they want to get enough of them the license to the carry the fire stick. Me said the one never carry tourists more likely to get a fire stick or drive them bus there. So I and I get to understand people. That the PPP driver them, I get caught up and a dirt for them hard earn change. You see me I say? So I and I, I ask you guys, share your information in the comment section. Make we highlight these things and see what they are doing in about this. You know, some would suggest, say, boy. Hey, start put some police in them vehicle now. Since them start dealing with foot patrol in Jamaica. You know, them decide say they want to do community policing. Start put police on some of these buses if I that I go on. You understand me? But me get to understand they are um, suppressing the news when it comes to drivers, public passenger vehicle drivers. I get caught up and I get dirt. Because them carry cash. So share information, guys, in the comment section. Share the information, please, in the comment section. Make we shed light on something they try to keep in the dark. Share the information in the comment section. Let us all shed light on stuff that is in the dark. That's the only way we can help each other. So we, you know, awareness. Awareness. You understand me? That's the only way you can't keep these things in the dark. And the driver them don't know about this. The public don't know about this. You get to understand. It's alleged that it's in the last two years, about 200 of them drop out. Do you hear me, people? So, um, we just want to put it out there so you guys know for it to go on. 
and uh, they are not um, um, them say them not want the people them to, to be panic to get panic but if it are go on it are go on you let the people them know so they can be more careful not true and what you say about a society who don't arm the people them i believe say you should give the people them more opportunity um issue more um permit so people can carry them for your stick it's messy you have a police officer in the force you go to fla to get a fire stick permit and then turn them down which makes no sense it seems as if they want to keep this crime coming at us look at it real good how can you be a police officer in the force you carry a fire stick every day for your job around the public around people executing a duty for years as a police officer and when you go to fla to get a fire a stick permit to protect you and your family are your community too them turn it down because i know no police officer is going to be next door somewhere with them here hell i broke loose over there and put out at least put out the man out of the door and bust up too everybody glad them live next door to a police and all i will tell just living next door to a police or a police in a community that's a plus for a lot of us we have several police living in my community and i feel good <laughs> me not lie yes they feel good for know some have police in my community living i mean no say police now go see hella broke loose and have him fire stick and at least put out him and out that door and scare off they would be whatever coming at you do you understand me people so look at it them do not want us to protect ourselves. most of we want to get a piece of fire stick to protect ourselves. Now, to get a fire stick in Jamaica, it seems as if you have to have money. So protecting your life now is um, attached to money. So is it the money you are protect or your life you are protect? In the color here, so you know, in Florida, I'm bridging them, everybody, go get them fire stick. Simple. Walking around with it. Have you had them yard? Them not have no money. Man work at Walmart, getting them fire stick. But look at the Jamaica concept. Them see, hell I broke loose. And then now make we help yourself. Them see, hell I broke loose. And then now make we help yourself. Not even police will carry fire stick every day on duty. Them are give the permit. Them give them hell. Not just you. They want you to have money in Jamaica. You have to be Mr. Mande. Businessman. So hold on, may I ask again? Is your business or anything I have more important than one's life? Because the fire stick is supposed to protect your life, not things. So Jamaica, them turn it off. It's things. You have to have things in Jamaica to get the permit. To protect things. So not your life. So therefore, if it was all about life, the poor man would not have nothing. Would I get one too? Would I get a permit to get a fire stick, don't it? Look at the concept in Jamaica. So. It's only the rich man can protect them life. Or them property. That's how it's going to be. While these guys coming at us with bigger fire stick. Turn up the place more mayhem. Then the gun music are banging on the youth them brain. There's a gun music. Me and Reese with a brother yesterday. Out there. There's a music out there telling the youth them say. If you step on them clocks. Man stab you up. Music out there tell the youth. Man say if you step on the clocks, must stab you up. These are the type of music they allow to play out in society. But I will come to that one of these days. I'm going to touch the music again and again. Music is a big part of a problem, people. That's why England ban it. Because they find a relationship between violent music and violent crime. They ban it. Hence, them police do them have to care, gun pan road. And we see our Jamaican police even visiting schools. And they carry big old long fire stick. School, they go visit, you know. People visit to school in a friendly visit. But they carry big old fire stick. Hmm? And we are unleash something onto the public that the government are trying to... Everything in the music are what the government are trying to stop. What they must say in the music and I teach you, man get arrested for it. 
Listen to music, people. The music is one of the biggest poison. Where are we going with this music, my people? Where are we going with this? What is the end game? What do we are trying to accomplish as a people? Every day is pay murder and mayhem in our music. They have to have regulation, people. We have minister of culture. We have all these guys. They know the music are teaching you the all type of stuff. Just the other day, I did a vlog on Facebook. I may ask, what is worse? The gun music or the gunman? Some people say, the gunman. No, no, the gun music. The gunman only affect one man or a few man. The gun music affect the whole country. The gun music even affect the baby. But they come around yet. Very effective. Advertisement. Commercial. More influential than the politician. Artists are. The musical artists more influential than your politician. So your politician telling them, stop the crime, stop the scamming, stop the this, stop the that. But here come the artist going at the boot again, telling the youth, they continue this, continue that. Hell broke loose, mayhem. This is what the youth, them are feed pan people. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. Just look pan it good. The music people, but the youth, them are consume. Garbage in, garbage out. It's like the artist them do the theory and the youth them do the practical. Everything the artist them say, the youth them carry out on the road and the gun music now nah, 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 stop. One man say, I will murder your, your family. And next man say, me take out your village. Next man say, me take out the whole country. Next man say, me take out the universe. And then nah, I stop and nah, stop and just keep going on. That's why gun music don't last long. Because the next man come with a bad a badness we counteract the last badness. And I just saw it I go on the youth, they might feed and this poison is a bad injection. I mean, I want a man come tell me, say, music now have no power about ya. I try to tell you for a long time on this platform when it wasn't popular for looking at the camera and tell Jamaican people, say, the gun music must cut out because kind of love no gun music so much and already for cuss out people. But I'm not afraid to tell you guys. Where are we going with this? What is the end game? May I ask you guys? Where are we going with this gun? Murder, advertisement, and the commercial, the promotion, every day. Getting more vicious, we're getting more vile, we're getting more gross, we're getting more, they're not stopping people. How can a man go in the music booth and talk about if you step on him clocks, he's going to stab you? We say, how can a man go in the music booth and allow to do a song? If you step on my clocks, I'm going to stab you. When we, say, we lost two students this year, uh, last year. Last year, because it's a new year. Last year, we lost two students in our school because next students step on them clocks. And this year, man going at the booth, I uh, say, if you step on my clocks, me I go, me go stop you. People, where will this end? What is the line? What are we doing to ourselves? Are the leaders in Jamaica just sitting around and just allow Jamaica to free fall in every area, in every aspect? Every little nooks, every cranny. Are we just sitting around? So we spend the most with this and with that. And just allow our country to just free fall. Look at it, people. Look at it if it makes any sense. You have some youth. You need regulation. You can have some wicked boy when you care about Jamaica. I come inject certain pies in the youth them head. You need to regulate them. Some people need regulation because if there was no regulation on Facebook and YouTube, some of us would say anything on these platforms. Anything. Because some of we not not in our way. We find our go-go was stripping a club, come on social media and do the same thing. If there wasn't for regulation, you have people come over and come to us. You need regulation and everything because some people don't care. You can't make a a few who not have nothing in them mash up the whole country. Affect and poison the young youth that we are come. If we don't change the trajectory, Jamaica, we are going pay dearly. Can't you see the gun promotion and the bullet advertisement and commercial? Can't you see it affect us as a people? There's no way around this. Look at it as a people. The feel good music. All right. We don't love them kind of music. Eh? They have a certain fan base. We don't have to stop. Regulation. Play them only in a club. If you're not having a fan base, or want to hear this or that, play them in a club. So, man, if I pay money 
to go in a closed environment to hear those type of garbage. So if you got to talk about say, freedom of this and freedom of that and their fight against freedom of that, no. Do this. Go in a club, go listen to this music. Me people not supposed to walk on the road or come from school and hear you play it on the roadside or your son or play this nastiness and it's gone. When you're supposed to hear it or come from your car, play in the car or the bus where I carry the pick it to and from school. When you're supposed to be in my bed at night time, I hear a big sound of tear down the road down the south about two miles away. I mean, I hear about throat for cut and all the girl and this and down that throat. We, the population is supposed to be exposed to that. We need regulation. You need a zone for this. You not got come and go fight and say, well, no, no, fight against man, no, fight against man, hold on. I help me help you out here, so you don't need a zone for that. And it must be indoor. Hmm? You don't need a zone for that. Why go and produce a win? Man, as I respect my brother. You don't need, you don't need a zone for that. Since you don't love this type of take a and this nonsense that is garbage, it must be controlled. So you only hear them when you open a club door and go in at it. We don't have an ear from the sound system we are playing at the land down there, so you can't play either. You can't play either. If I them the music you play, find an enclosed spot like inside a club where people pay their money, know what they are getting to, and go in and pay for it. But not in my bed. Mute them and listen. Where are we going to stop? Where is the line, Jamaica? What have we become? We're going to make a few rotten few mash up all of we because I feel good. Mm? You know, so say the youth them lose their mind now. They use them take music literally. You know, call like a first time we are grow and we are hear certain music. Them they there around, you know. They might use them go get it and them, you know, then to put a different speed on it, they weaponize it. You see me? I say people, we don't feel certain way. People, them music I need to control as a people. See England there. See England there. England burn them garbage there. Because England find out the relationship between violent music and violent crime. Hmm? Violent music and violent crime. There is. There is a relationship. There is a relationship. Violent music and violent crime. Jamaica, how we make them music, I know. And look how crime are kill we. And we don't see it. We don't see it. But we don't just allow Jamaica to free fall. Because funeral parlor out there make money. We don't make money off a dead. I can't more than that. I can't more than that because now tell me, say, oh no, blind. Oh man, can't go in a boot, go to a boat, say, if you step on my class, I'm going to stab you up. And I them the music, they go to the school youth, them. Jesus Christ. Last year we lose two youth in a school over the same thing. And this year, artists going to the boot, I go to a boat, say, if you step on my class, I'm going to stab you up. Jamaica, what direction we're going? My people, may I try to pull on the back. And I like me, I tell, look on it, good, 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 good. And I don't feel good at the moment no more right now in Jamaica. If you don't love Jamaica, artists, you don't change your style, no, man. Change your music, man. Stop the oppressive, don't, don't oppressive music, man. Build up the youth, them, man. Build up the youth, them, man. Of full music, man. Eh? Build music of life, man. To live, man. Stop singing dead music, man. Graveyard music, man. Appear death and destruction. And as you use them, write them just dead, see where the youth, them, drop out early. Because they, man, listen on the youth. Them music, uh, I know them are going, like say they don't have Minister of Culture and them don't have the, they don't have picnic and them don't see what are going around them, you know. You know, they go like they don't see what are going around them because the mayhem we are going so it has suit some people, can enough people I live off a funeral home, you know. They might live off on a blood, you know. You understand me, people? Anyway, not say blood and all them things there from the sun of Afghanistan to the zinc fence of Kingston, somebody have benefit. Anyone who see mayhem and all them things there from Afghanistan to the zinc fence of Kingston, somebody a benefit people. Don't take this thing for... Look here, man. Even all the state of emergency we have at Jamaica there. You don't know, think they make money a fight? Do you know how much money that costs us taxpayers every year? They know it's not working because a lot of times they hear is a lot of things go on in the era where they have state of emergency. But it seems as if them friends have to make money. Let's ask. Who provide the toilet, the porta potty? That the soldier and the police use at these checkpoints. Who provide it? Who rent it to them? May I show you how money can be made from these things, you know? Kickbacks. Who rent the porta potty? Who them rent it from? The porta potties, those simple porta potties. Let's start from there. Where them use at the check spot? Who them rent it from? 
which one of them friend and one of them same politician uh, themselves own Porto Party? Which one of them? Okay. Which one of them rent tent? Which one of them rent the tent? Who? Which one of them big men are rent tent? I mean, I'll show you how them can make money for this thing, you know. How about the food soldier and police eat by the checkpoint? I will provide that type of service. Mm. All right. No, 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 PNP. I just saw them thing a flow one way when certain party in a power. How about the gas? For them driving up and down. Bun gas, you know. Gas and diesel. I wish gas station get the contract to fill up the tank them and then vehicle up on the checkpoint. A lot of these things come back full circle, people. Benefit them seeing one where implement these things when I benefit Jamaican people. Just when it's ready, money a burn, a burn, a burn, whatever they want. But the regular people have toilet paper at the hospital. When I have MRI machine and CT scan. Yet we have over 400 million dollars to spend on empty buildings that government workers not in a, but we have so much government worker in a so much office in a such man office where him should I use them empty building where we are paid for and put them in a. We have so much office in a such man office, like we can't find building like them empty one there where we are paid 400 million dollars and counting an empty building. Kickbacks are going on, and in Jamaica, nobody now got jail. Nobody not going to jail for this. These are the things that bother in my country, drain in my country. What is going to stop them from continuing doing, doing this kind of thing? They now got jail. Nobody go to jail for stuff in Jamaica like this. It's only the poor you trying to thief to Aki. Are you crazy? Don't make them catch you. I broke nobody's house, I broke nobody's shop. Worst goat, they will tie around the neck and cut off your head. <laughs> People that tell us Jamaicans, see, the other day, you know, Miss Pantan, the woman in a jail for SSL, she came out and write a big thing and said that in the paper, said that and she alone robbed SSL. She said the boss is also in it, according to the report in the paper. So the boss from SSL also in a it. So I wonder if Miss DPP no hear that. I wonder if DPP no hear say Miss Pantan say and she alone take money from SSL. She says she do it to help the company. She say and she alone take it and she do it because she was promised something. And we guys understand. So if I and I. Go commit a crime, people. Me and you go commit a crime. And police lock me up. And you, let me lock you up yet. Come me decide, say, boy, I want to take the rap, you know. Make me wrap up because you promised me something. And my final say, well, you promised me a lie, you know, I now go work out when me look on hard cell when me have got in and me tired of jail and me get jail crazy. So me call them and tell me, say, look, I'm on me alone, you know, and me and you. People, do you think the police are going to say, me no need you. Because us, because me have you already. People, do you think the police is just gonna say, no, me don't need the next person because me have one already? So how come they're not gone for whoever the woman I say was in it with her? Mm? So me, me understand these things, people. So me I say, I wonder if a case with DPP I hold on. Because me the ear Mark Golden mentioned something about SSL. I want to make you find it. And then DPP. We must can find it, man. Somewhere. Yeah. Hmm? Taking away the rights of the people of Fort Moore without proper consultation with them. Jamaica's iconic global track superstar, the Honorable Usain Bolt, and many other in innocent investors were carried down in the scandalous SSL fiasco. And we can't hear anything about charges being brought against the culprit. I have been told that the DPP's office is pulling, is dragging their feet when there are a number of people that the Financial Investigations Division have, are seeking to bring charges against. In fact, in August last year, the Gleaner carried a report that from the FID that there were several persons that they were intending to move against with charges. 
That report is no longer on the Gleaner website, but I am told that the DPP's office is dragging their feet on this. The Kroll forensic report, which has cost taxpayers millions of dollars, was delivered to the government months ago. It must be released to the public so we can see what the findings are. Jamaica will not accept a cover-up of this shameful debacle which has tainted our country's reputation as a safe and well-regulated place for Jamaicans at home and abroad to save and invest. In fact, a commission of inquiry into this SSL scandal will be needed. So, when you are going, people, so Jean and Pantan say she was bribed. So you hear the better I said it now. He must say DPP a whole tight and all ego. Because we are saying, how come Miss Pantan say, I know she alone. And um, them now lock me, not see nobody else get locked up. When you hear me, I say, people. So, I'm going to read it for you now. This is out the book of the Gleaner people. May 29, 2023. Yeah, man. Jean Pantan. Jean and Pantan, the only person charged in the alleged $3 billion fraud and stock securities limited, claim she confessed because of an alleged offer from her former boss and the company's founder. You Craskery. So me I wonder what I'm to that woman. What I'm to a liar. Did a liar dip and dive? Me no know. What I'm to a liar. Me no hear nothing from her. What I'm to that woman. She just gonna jail, gonna bury. You know. Me no know what I'm to the case here. Yeah. People that me I say. What I'm to that case here. Yeah. What DPP I do. You hear Mark Golden say this. So. You call like say something. No right people. So. The former client relationship manager made the claim in her defense in a lawsuit brought against her and nine others by Gene Ford and an investor. Craskery is the third defendant. Who is the third defendant? Craskery is the third defendant. Craskery is the third defendant. Hello? Hey, my brother. Sorry about that, people. Manners and respect. You know the thing, go when I get some some call, I just say, go. You have to stop and check. So this lady say, I have a she alone. Do it. I mean, just ask from them time there. I'm gonna hear Mr. Golden make some speech. I mean, I say, hold on. How Mark tell me say? He might tell me say to how I go on here. Jamaica's iconic global track superstar, the Honorable Usain Bolt, and many other in innocent investors were carried down in the scandalous SSL fiasco. And we can't hear anything about charges being brought against the culprit. I have been told that the DPP's office is pulling, is dragging their feet when there are a number of people that the Financial Investigations Division have, are seeking to bring charges against. In fact, in August last year, the Gleaner carried a report that 
Well, from the FID, that there were several persons that they were intending to move against with charges. That report is no longer on the Gleaner website, but I am told that the DPP's office is dragging their feet on this. The Kroll forensic report, which has cost taxpayers millions of dollars, was delivered to the government months ago. It must be released to the public so we can see what the findings are. Jamaica will not accept a cover-up of this shameful debacle which has tainted our country's reputation as a safe and well-regulated place for Jamaicans at home and abroad to save and invest. In fact, a commission of inquiry into this SSL scandal will be needed. So, so what about the cruel? Brother Nigel Clark promised us transparency, people. What about the Kroll investigation? First, he promised us the FBI. We're not seeing a movement of that. Then Kroll out of England. You hear Mark Golden say it. Warm to all those. Warm to the transparency. What am to all that? Warm to all that family. So the lady, the one woman with them charge, I have a jail. She a ball out. So I'm going to read this for you, for you guys. Start again. The former client relationship manager made a claim in her defense in a lawsuit brought against her and nine others by Gene Ford, an investor. Crosscurry is the third defendant. In trepidation, the second defendant, Pantan, says that the background of the alleged confession was a premise uh, on an offer made by the third defendant, Crosscurry, on behalf of the first defendant, SSL. You know, you're that, that you know. In trepidation, the second defendant, Pantan, says that the background of the alleged confession was premised on the offer made by the third defendant, Crasscurry, on behalf of the first defendant, SSL. So our confession was she made and say, of she, as she, as she, when the well away know, say, nobody run out come confess, so I didn't go a court yet. We just run out come confess, yeah, me, and our confession statement was beautifully uh, put together even with charts in it i did video on that because i noticed there were charts you know pointing to this and pointing to that in her confession statement i mean i said oh come somebody i'll hug up something and say i'm me and you never got caught it you know get lock up me no see what i go on you're a liar just come out you know behind you know behind the lie and put some out their statement me that question them thing there so so all of that Statement that she come out with first and say, as she, as she, as she, she's saying right now that was not true. But the second statement right here. So the second statement, according to her, it is really the truth. So I wonder if nobody now hear her out and listen to her. And I say, no man, may have you already. I don't need to arrest anybody. But listen to Mark Golden. It seems as if some other people should be in jail from last year. And it was in the paper. And him say, take them out of the paper. You hear the man say? The paper is scrubbed. So the second SSL, the said offer was an inducement and the statement would not have been made otherwise, she said in the document filed in Supreme Court on May 25th. So says she was induced. She said her statement of confession would not have been made otherwise if it wasn't for the inducement. I don't see any other movements for the arrest of anybody else. Mark Golden said, DPP, sit down and what's going on here. We don't know what's going on, people. Everybody sit down on things in Jamaica. Nothing now move. Why? Why when they use them teeth too aki, them gone? Why when they use them broke a shop or broke a house and teeth are good? Why them gone? Why? Why some big neck people who really hurt so many people, even our own country, come money from the, um, and from all different entity like money from the banana catastrophe fund, Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Health, NIS money in it, and NHT money in it, Usain Bolt money, and so many other people tie up in it. So we get hurt, the country was hurt, and nobody not seem to say, make them go off of who hurt the country. So I show you who, when you hear some people say, don't trust the PNP with the purse. What best steward of the purse? Look at them treat the purse. All the paper and building when nobody not in an empty building. Look at them do the purse, no man. Look at them do the purse. 
Look what I'm doing the purse. Take money, go put United from NHT, NIS, the Ministry of Health, Agriculture, Banana Catastrophe Fund, our money, taxpayer money. And you know I lock up nobody's feet. Look what I'm doing the purse. If you're best steward of the purse, you're going to lock up anybody will rob from the people. If you are guard the purse, come here, people. If you are protect the purse, people wouldn't go to jail will rob from people. No care who. So how come you protect the purse and nobody no got jail at this instance? They look at woman and say she did jail and she, 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 I know she alone did it. She came out and she confessed. And the glee night there. She continued. The second defendant, Pantan, therefore, puts the claimant in strictly, um, she, she put the claimant to strictly prove the va validity, validity, validity of the alleged confession, statement, and allegation according to law jesus god boy go hear what the lawyer said cross creek attorney king's counsel peter champagne said pantan's latest allegation does not accord with my instructions from cross creek so the lawyer said based on what my client tell me sure i like she tell that's what it's on people that Elias said, based on what my client had tell me. Under that. Under that thing tell me. So what she has said. No make no sense. Hey people. It's a serious thing, you know. I would not want to venture into a disclosure concerning what it is that Pantan is alleged to have said. Her matter is best before the court and it is best dealt with in the court, he told the Gleaner on Monday. According to the signed confession statement dated January 7, 2023, Pantan admitted that she used various mechanisms to take money from clients and that she created false statements to provide to the clients reflecting what they, sh what they should have in their accounts and not the sum actually had in their accounts. She added that she stole the money over the course of several years years the statement which was made to ssl as part of an internal investigation named 39 clients whose accounts had a total value of over 700 million dollars but you know that number has moved to um the last time a 70 clients but we know say more than that now so, you know, say move from 700 million to more because this is 39. I last time read is 70, um, over 70 clients. So, you know, it got to be more than 7 million, you know, billions of dollars. What would that be? Do you understand me, people? Pantan said she took approximately 20% of the sum in addition to a further $109 million. An account in the name of Welgen Limited. A holding company owned by Sports Great, Hussein Bolt, was not mentioned on the list. And SSL said in a subsequent statement that it was unaware that the portfolio was affected. I feel remorse for my actions, Pantan said in the statement, that bears a seal and signature from a justice of the peace. Justice of the peace? Justice of the peace? A note at the end of the statement said, I, I gave the above statement voluntarily and of my own free will, and I am of sound mind. I confirm that I obtained legal advice before swearing to this statement, and the said statement was given in the presence of my attorney at law. Both account value plummeted from 2 billion, which is 12.7 million US, in October 2022 to 1.8 million Jamaican or 12,000 US in January. So the man account go from 12 million US dollars to 12, um, 12.7 million to 12,000. What a disrespect. The man account go from 12, 12.7 million US in October of 2022. To twelve thousand dollars in January. That are twenty twenty three. So October. So in October, when I give both the paper and say, "I this year have been it," you know. 
you never have that tonight. And I've read other reports, people where them say, Bolt's money was never invested. Me read other reports where it say, Usain Bolt money was never invested in the first place. You guys read that? So Karen said, Pant on his line, she's trying to save Andrew and Juliet and his cronies. All of them get out of it. <laughs> she said, Anna, she alone. So if Anna, she alone, make you step up. So January, you know, so, so basically from October to January, the money go from 12.7 million US to 12,000 in January when he checked, following an, an alert from Pantan. So she alerted well, Jen, from Pantan, uh, so uh, alert from Pantan, his legal team has said, I guess you find also she's in a big trouble also, Pantan who worked at SSL for over 25 years. Now, this woman is no small fry. 25 years, people, come on. She can go retire soon. Not true. 25 years of service. You are no small fish. Come on, people. Respect people's seniority. That to, hey, we work at my job for 25 years. I can't talk to me. I can't close my eyes, close my eyes and do that job. I teach other people. You understand me? So Pantan, who worked at SSL for over 25 years, until she was dismissed in January, was charged in February. That's just over a month after SSL reported the fraud to the regular Financial Service Commission on January 10th. On January 17, the FSC took temporary management of the company, which is involved in a court battle with the regulator over the appointment of a trustee. Ford, an 80-year-old woman, is suing SSL and the other defendants, alleging she was defrauded of over 830,000 US dollar, almost a million US dollar. You are 80, you are 80 year old, or you have a walk. Or you're going to walk them the type of money again. 830,000 US dollars. Almost a million US dollars she lost. So she sued. Welgen has um, also sued SSL. So Usain Bolt <coughs> company, Welgen also sued SSL. So um, Bolt stuff is tied up in a court with Miss Lydia stuff. So a lot of times you see people ask on social media, Warm to bolt, warm to bolt, or bolt so quiet. It is in court, people. It is in court with Miss Ford. Because Miss Ford I tried to recoup her 830,000 US dollar. Jesus, 80 years old. 80 years old. When I want to give you an attack, I let me see. Both matters which are being heard together. They are heard, being heard together, both Bolt and Miss Ford. So I just wanted to make, make clear to you guys who are asked, we see it all over social media, want to Bolt stuff. It's in a court. Both matters which are being heard together are scheduled to be mentioned in the Supreme Court on Wednesday. This is an old story, so it happened already. So last week, the Chief Technical Director and Head of Financial Investigation Division, FID, Selvin Hay said the investigation into the case is progressing. But me hear Mark Golden say, boy, man, he got jail from last year and he did it in the news and it looked like them scrub it from the news site and the on DPP desk and it seems as if she's sitting down on it. In a Supreme Court filing on March 10, the FSC declared that SSL was insolvent, saying that the company did not have enough money to pay its debt. But all my years said them I give out money and give out money and this and that. You know, me I hear the SSL I give this money and pay all this money to other people. It's confusing to call us. In a Supreme Court, them say insolvent and then no money to pay them debt. So they find money to give. You know, yes, SSL give so give out some money, people, pay out some money. You never say that. And me alone see that. So when they find the money from the all me ask. The regulator has also sought the court's permission to present a petition under the company's act for the winding up. Our liquid liquidating of SSL leave to appoint Tomlinson as a trustee and confirmation of the full and exclusive powers of management SSL vested in the FSC effective of January at uh, January 17. So on a Siwagwanya with the SSL thing. So 
Miss Pantan in a jail. She come out and squeal. Basically, how we call it, squeal, right? She come out and rat then. Say, I'm not she alone. When you never under pressure, the deal no come true or the jail life too hard. She come out and say, I'm not she alone do it. She basically, she was coerced to write the first statement according to my limited understanding of what's going on here, people. Do you understand me? So, FSC took over January 17. We do video upon this already, you know. Watch this. January 17, the report. The report. January 17, the 10th. And by in a one week, yeah. It was reported on the 10th. And in one week, the FSC took over. Listen to this good. So last year, the end of last year, coming down to the end of last year, remember 2023 we're talking about here. So them know, them take it over from one week after the, it was reported to the government, say, them have a problem. Come down to end of last year, sometime-ish, we heard Nigel Clark come out and say, he want us to give them $15 million to keep them open. $15 million he want from the taxpayers to pay, keep the lights on and pay a salary of SSL workers. When the world of say, no man, this place needs to be shut down. When he may say, people, so he may come to me, say, want $15 million. We borrow out and say, no. And he walk away and come back and say, oh, sorry, guys. I find a new way how to get money. And this time is not from the taxpayers' money. This money is from confiscated drugs money or scamming money. They say that's not taxpayers' money. I want to email some people. He said, sorry guys, I find a new way how to get this $15 million to pay to SSL with the workers and keep the lights on. And it's not going to be taxpayers' money. This money is confiscated money. People tell me something. Confiscated money and nothing with money. Nothing with law enforcement go out, they go work. As since when these boys, I think, say the money with them collect from these good thing, I feed them. Can you imagine what them do with it? Can you imagine what these guys do when they confiscate money like the house and money when they find a Montego Bay there? Remember that house full of money? Who remember that house full of money in Montego Bay? This kind of money. Nigel Clark wanted to believe that it is not taxpayers' money. That's why he came back out and said, with him brilliant self, and said, sorry guys, we find a new way to get this $15 million and it is not taxpayers' money. Follow me because I'm going somewhere. Remember the January 10th and the 17th date. So, we said, no man. Come here, tell us we bloggers and social media warriors here come out to Nigel and say, no. Confiscated funds are our funds, Nigel. What are you? You're supposed to be some big scholar. You take a few idiot. Confiscated money, a free money. Why not do the money? Take a, a rampant shot money that. If you don't believe in on the head, say, confiscated fund is not taxpayers' money. So even the finance minister himself believe that. That he might come out and come tell we say, sorry guys. We find some money and it's not, confisc uh, it's not taxpayers' money, but confiscated money confiscated money and free money. That money need to go back to the youth, to the schools. I want them have the money that some place I do. If a drugs money come go back to the youth and some anti-drugs platform, steer the youth them away from them stuff. If a scamming money come put it back in some education stuff to the youth to help the youth them to come out of them stuff. Now have the money locked down and not go in and eat and things say I phone money and bright enough to come tell me say it's not taxpayers money. Then him go back in again and get pushed back out pan all real barrow. You see him, finance minister. I mean, I lie, people. I'm mean, do videos pan this. The third time the man come out to it, guess what the man say? Oh, we just find some money. Sorry, guys, some insurance money. SSL we have in England. Sorry, guys. We just have to find that out. So we get the money now. So don't worry about the taxpayers' money. Don't worry, don't worry about the confiscated money. We find some money now where SSL they have 
over England there in insurance money. Come here, people. Come here. Have no ban last night to backside him. Do a night to ban. If remember, you know, a three times the man come out here and ask for the money, you know, people. Did you know that? Three times. And each time he come, we flag him. He said, No, we're not supposed to pay taxpayers' money to SSL. As a matter of fact, he's supposed to shut down. He come back and says, Sorry, it's not taxpayers' money, but confiscated money. We find some other way, which is confiscated drugs money or scammer money, whatever. Which is our money. We said, no, that's our money. Leave it alone. Then if you shut down. So the third time you come back out, pay attention to the dates, 17 and 10 of January. It come back. Oh, guys, we just find out. So we have someone in England. So if the government took over from January 17, after it was reported to them at 10th, wouldn't the government know, say, them have insurance money are coming. Wouldn't the government check everything with SSL have? Know that, you know, this company hurt so many people. Wouldn't the government looking for everything when they can confiscate and salvage and give back to the people? Come here, people. I don't have much sense. I'm just ask. Wouldn't the government itself know, say, there's insurance money out of England, daddy, from January? Come to me, man. Talk to me, man. Remember, you know, Nigel Clark come in a year, almost in a year last year, you know, and I asked that kind of $15 million. And we said, no, 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 no. Then he come back and said, oh, me just realize this money, just like the documents where I never remember same have where I take dust in I'm draw. You understand me, Mr. Clark? Right? You want to tell me say the government never know everything where SSL have? Remember the company under investigation, you know? You have the government up in it, a rotor root, supposed to be rotor root up in it, you know? And if the government up in there, you're not supposed to look for everything where can confiscate and salvage so you can sell off or whatever. And pay back the people the way you owe. Isn't that what it's supposed to be, people? So, therefore, if I, that is supposed to be, unless me an idiot, if I saw it go, unless me a fool and it go otherwise, then the government, Mr. Clark, should have known about this money we a long time. So, if Mr. Clark know about this money, the insurance money where they already have, where they the need from me, the $15 million, you mean to say, Mr. Clark no, so them have them money here. And I come to poor Jamaica and I have toilet paper. A toilet. Now I have the MRI machine and CT scan. And I come grind off $15 million from poor people to pay SSL. Eh? Knowing that the insurance money dead there on a takeover from January 17. It was reported that trouble dead there from January 10. So government have them earning at it. I look, look round. And if a company like that, Getting a stuff like that, I would assume government investigation would consist of salvaging everything. Look what they got to take to sell, to give out the people that were hurt. So, how come government never knows that money, insurance money, they're from way up? But Mr. Clark, I come the end of the year, come tell me, say, give me $15 million. People know, say, wicked and wicked. People know, say, how wicked is that? You know, say, how wicked is that? I come to poor people. We have tiny paper, a hospital. We have to carry tiny trees and bed spread and towel, toothbrush and soap. Go hospital. Now I have no money. Things rough. When them boy have to spend money, just like the Moran Point Hospital, $27 million for the health center, rather. When they have to spend money, people, they now have no mercy upon it. You have come to we, I tell we, we give SSL money. And if you understand me, I say, and just the other day, just the other day, people, just the other day, Mr. SSL pay out some money. Just the other day, Mr. SSL pay a money, pay out money to some people them owe. Wall it money. Wall it more times the $15 million when Nigel Clark is asking. People don't see it. Talk to me, people. When I see people, just the other day, I see SSL. Pay whole heap of money. Whole heap of money to clients. So I say, hold on there. Where they get money from? Hmm? Let me read. Let me read what I'm going to tell you guys. So this is SSL transfer over $11 billion to customer. 
I remember this all after Nigel come to whip for the 15 million, you know. So I confused. Bro, you know, and him use the insurance money when he never knows that did he? And him, them did it from January. Me confused. So see me and read now in the Gleaner. January 19. This year, 2024. Remember, you know, I uh, SSL that, you know. Remember, Nigel, people look out and wicked, no man. Come here, no man. Come here, no man. Come here, no man. It's like Nigel Clark come to money for we, for we give him to, for this ramping shop thing. And that's, that's what it look like to I, you know. You know, said the money did it, Nigel Clark. You have to know. I, I mean, I'm just thinking. Yeah, the finance minister and government take over from January. So, government uh, do the rotor route and uh, dig up everything. I see what the company have a go to and come in where you can solve it. You pay the people, them, then so it's supposed to go to the, and isn't that the standard way, people? That means that the government would have known, say the insurance money did they, brother? And you come now, we're doing October or something like that, you'd have come to me and still say, need $15 million to pay the lights last year end. But come, come, come this year, eh? Look at my wickedness here. This year, SSL make me pay out. Eh? This year, SSL, where they get the money from? I thought, I can't I'm read a while ago, I thought them dissolved everything. I said, this thing is confusing, you know. That's why I want to see the, the cruel report. So, Trouble Investment Firm, Tax and Securities Limited, SSL, today, announced that it has transferred over $11 billion in client funds to other financial entities as part of its first phase of interim, interim management activities. When you come here, January 19, 2024. It's on January, people. When you come here, man, that things must make sense. You know, in the, about October, the man has come to with $15 million, people. Million, you know. Mill. I come to poor people for with toilet paper down hospital money. But in January, trouble investment firm Stocks and Securities Limited SSL today, this is January 19, announced that it has transferred over $11 billion with a B into clients' funds to other financial entities as part of its first phase of interim management activities. Member, people, we're not here that, you know. If I have to do detective pandemic and detective work, I just have to turn on people. Come here, pay attention. But remember, at January, Nigel Clark take over. They report to them January 10th. One week later, the 17th, the government take over. Come about October last year, if I'm not mistaken, Nigel Clark come to me and say, you want $15 million. We said, no, we're not giving you no money. People thank God for we black guy, you know. We war for the country, we war for the owner, you know. Jaja and under the comment section along with it, you know. If you turn on the pressure upon them, I said, No, my country with 15 million. I was say, No, we're not getting the place to lock down. We have what is here? In hospital have nothing about you, and you give them 15 million dollars. Then they go back in. He never touched a 15 million dollar and they come back out and say, Okay, guys, I found some money, but this time it's not taxpayers' money. But confiscated drugs money. People, confiscated money, a few money, and we come out again and we beat him again. We said that's our money. It's our agent who go, they go, 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 go fight crime. Eh? And, and confiscate this money. Who want me to believe you have full no money? And what you guys are doing with this money? And my mind reflect back to the house full of money and Montegobi. What them do with that house full of money and Montegobi? Since Mr. Clark believes that money is not ours, confiscated money. Then Mr. Clark went back in. He never touched a confiscated money, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing it in a black hole. I don't know. He come back out and say, oh, me just remember. SSL have some insurance money out of England. Insurance money from England, people. He just find that out when he did it from January. He just find that out when he did it from January. So I wonder, are, so no. The insurance money isn't, isn't that supposed to be for the Jamaican government? If you had an investigation like that, when you find that money, isn't that supposed to be confiscated by the government or the, in the investigator? Not true. Talk truth. The, 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 
tell me say the insurance money or business they belong to the government. If the government they are investigate, if there's any investigation going there whatsoever, I just a play play thing them and do round. Talk the two people. Me and that law enforcement, me just watch TV. Now, if them have this in, um, insurance money, wouldn't something where the government confiscate to try to salvage to see what them can give back to people who got hurt? Wouldn't that mo money, insurance money belong to the, the government? So me I wonder now, is that money them still I use pay the 15 million dollars? For Nigel Clark, they must say, when it going to stop you now? So they are, right now, they are still paying SSL $15 million. I want to know. I want to know if Nigel Clark still paying SSL $15 million out of the insurance money with him get. Nobody know these things, you know, because nobody no asks these things. We have to pay attention to these things like us bloggers we do this type of work. I want to know if Nigel Clark still a pay that $15 million to SSL out of the insurance money we you just realize I come from England, sir. After only the day from January 17, we should have known that long time ago. So it seems as if you want broke the poor people foot to, for the rich man, them sir, and that you try to. So the poor people, them, they never say nothing and say, take the $15 million, you'd have broke them foot everywhere. So are we still paying the $15 million to SSL to keep them open, Nigel Clark? We want to know because that money was no time to it. So we want to find out now that SSL appeared almost a billion dollar now. Are we still paying the little measly $15 million to keep them open? People, it makes sense. Come here, man. No one for know, are we still paying this $15 million out of the insurance money bars? Even though SSL look like they find some new found riches and start sending off money. Eh? Let me just read for Uniaso. The company where this man have come to us I beg money for. Just pay out $11 billion. Oh, God, Mr. Clark. What is $15 million to $11 billion, sir? It's crumbs. You're taking crumbs and candy out of poor people, mouth bars. Man, they have $15 billion to give away. To, you know, make all of the trouble when them get themselves in, Mr. Clark. Why should we pay $15 million the people? Them, they can't pay them own people, man. If the man hand out 50, um, 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 11 billion. So I wonder where them get money from. I thought them dissolve everything. Where they get money from? Them up and running again. Why? That's what I'm saying. We want to see the cruel report based on the Mark Golden I tell you. We want to see that cruel report. So, you know, other provided received clients. Thus far, all major steps have been taken by SSL to transfer of cash and local securities. SSL temporary manager service limited in the update client five clients accounts you hear that 765 says not 70 I already move up to 200 but it keep going up to 765 65 some 765 clients account totally 10.5 billion dollar in local financial securities were transferred to other entities. It noted today with other additional transfer of 564 million in cash related to 165 clients. SSL said that it now relies, it, it, it now relies clients to provide the required information to allow for marketing and and speedier completion of the necessary transfers. So they must say, client must come forward now to get to no money and all them things they saw. And where they get the money from? I mean, just read two now a while ago, so them dissolve them stuff. So me confuse. Me confuse. I know Usain Bolt not get his money. His stuff is in a court 
with Miss Ford, $830,000. This phase is regrettably taking additional time, additional time given the cross-border nature of these assets, which introduces some complexity to the transfer process. SSL is working assiduously to resolve the remaining issues in the shortest possible time, stated the release. So I'm to Miss Pantan say, in account, she and she alone rob the money. She and the boss in her eat and she do it for make the company look good. And Mark Golden said, DPP, sit down upon the documents or something like that. And I squeeze it and now push it out there for the people here. So like we have corruption and go on here, people. And we have to, we have to open our eyes to it. Where SSL get money from and is Nigel Clark still paying this $15 million a month to keep the clients them Paid and the lights on at SSL, even though SSL are pump out billions. Jamaica's iconic global track superstar, the Honorable Usain Bolt, and many other in innocent investors were carried down in the scandalous SSL fiasco. And we can't hear anything about charges being brought against the culprit. I have been told that the DPP's office is pulling, is dragging their feet when there are a number of people that the Financial Investigations Division have, are seeking to bring charges against. In fact, in August last year, the Gleaner carried a report that from the FID that there were several persons that they were intending to move against with charges. That report is no longer on the Gleaner website, but I am told that the DPP's office is dragging their feet on this. The Kroll forensic report, which has cost taxpayers millions of dollars, was delivered to the government months ago. It must be released to the public so we can see what the findings are. Jamaica will not accept the cover-up of this shameful debacle, which has tainted our country's reputation as a safe and well-regulated place for Jamaicans at home and abroad to save and invest. In fact, a commission of inquiry into this SSL scandal will be needed. So, it marked one year anniversary, anniversary since he first raised the issue that led to the investigations. On January 10, again, like me I'm telling about, 2023, the Financial Service Commission, FSC, was alerted to this, um, discrepancies in the client accounts at SSL. Subsequently, subsequently, the FSC engaged law enforcement and took over the institution. They took it over, assigning BRSL as the interim manager for SSL on January 17. So government took it over January 17. So how come they never know, say, the money did I? May I ask, you know, insurance money. I can come back to it. Say, one well, 15 million. Let me just show you how that man are wicked, you know. Want to take biscuit out of baby mouth. When them people are giving 11 billion dollars, when they know so the insurance money they they counted it from January. How come you never know that they, they when they, we say no, no, no to all this type of money we are trying to get from we? And we say no, you finally come with the insurance money. So manager uh, manager, uh, manager as in coordination with the FSC, taking an active role in administering SSL. Taking an administ um uh, um uh, taking a manager as in coordination with FSC, taking an active role in administering SSL. The remit includes protecting current accounts, aiding investigations, securing SSL's assets, and initiating a step by step process for transferring client assets to chosen brokers and financial entities. This move was, uh, was the result of comprehensive closed-door negotiations with various securities dealers that started last February, aiming to find the most favor favorable way to relocate clients' accessible funds to alternative financial structures. So last February, them did their dig up. I didn't take it over January, you know, so by February, investigation, I go on, go on, go on. Somebody said, ask Nigel Clark if it, why you come to me for $15 million if I know so the people who have insurance money for Sabas. 
See you, Mr. Clark. When it comes to pay the people, them, them pay and them salary, you know, and the money, I tell them about practice fiscal prudence. When it comes to any of that thing, fill up the country, you hold on tight on the purse. But when it comes to some other thing, the purse is loose. I think you, Mr. Clark, need to pull up on some investigation. Yeah, I mean, like your work, Mr. Clark. You need to be drawn up under some investigation based on what is coming to us in the news in Jamaica right now and all these things. And Mark Golden already tell me, say, people was supposed to be arrested from last year, something like that. You might hear reports of arrests to be made for the SS, more people to be arrested for SSL saga last year. And um, you know, hear nothing about it. And when you check the media, it seems as if they scrubbed it from the media. But I'm going to try to me find it, you know. From his man, no, no, if you look. <laughs> so, but anyway, people, thank you so much for watching this video. Let us draw some attention to these things, people, who are going in our place, the health center, when I'm locked down, and I look in our face and say, Boy, we spend the most on my love, you know. But I just want to make sure, say, they are not closing down health center, they are not defunding health center, and they open them quick, like five spend and ginger ale. At uh, four months, Mr. Tufton say he might take fee, lift them back up open. So we are pay attention. I may ask you guys from Five Spen and uh, Ginger Hill, how is your clinic looking? Is it coming back? I also tell you about Port Marant say, um, Health Center, where them is supposed it's well, almost a year now, and it was supposed to be months to open, and it cost us twenty-seven million dollars. I also tell you about another uh, this Bradleaf Health Center where them say close open after two years of closure so that's why i may bring up five spend and ginger ale now make it be two years of the inconvenience for you guys talk up in the comment section tell me i go on out they make me make nice on social media yeah thank you guys so much manners and respect as usual i am a student in a guy's class make sure your comments make sense in every sentence if this is the first time on my platform you love the work you enjoy the comment section subscribe on youtube follow on facebook if you don't like what i go on don't come with no trouble. No bag of doo doo. Me no, no issue from you. It's easier you hit that button and go find the next page with the rage. But anyway, respect and manners for everybody who watch our video. Manners and respect to each and every one. Jamaica to the world. To the world. Can't for me again. You can't for me again. You hold me down for a very long time Can't buy sugar, we can't buy lime Can't buy skin and we can't buy time You can't fool me again Can't fool me again You can't fool me again You hold me down for a very long time Can't buy sugar, we can't buy lime You touch up line and I resort to crime You can't fool me again what you gonna eat no money, what you at your eat no at you Go be money, miss you, we eat the yellow little rat you Use the youth, the money, miss my muscle, man, this not you Say me like a catch you, but me got in a pig at you Take this bit of money, got a lot, say that it's not you One day, the man, I'm moving up in my gut, I'm going to put it in the kitchen So my fiber like a pot too When singers and DJs are such a need, that's for me, not you It burn me 300% free It burn me Garbage pile up in there It burn me Give the teacher them race It burn me I see corruption, see It burn me Mash down the people, them out. It burn me. Every day I peer arms out. It burn me. I peer money, them a tea. It burn me. And them a sell.